it doesn't mean anything. That f when out of freedom we proclaim, we declare, this doesn't mean anything, it's humorous. We're not really saying, hey, I don't care about you anymore. But what we are saying is, I am so free that nothing can affect me. Yeah. So when we say nothing means anything, really what we're saying is nothing can affect me unless I let it. But even then it can't really affect me. So you're stabilizing then in that self-transcendent state or God's love. And that is the aperture opening. And yes, it comes with greater humor. Yes, it comes with greater joy. Yes, it comes with greater liberation because that's what allows the channel to love the body, the mind. So that's wonderful. So your first priority, you see, and you could say your only priority in sort of conflict situations or afflictive situations is to remember what you are. Mm -hmm. And if you remember what you are and you're not so caught up in the storyline, then if you're free, love is automatic. Let's just use that as a motto right now. If you feel free, love is automatic. And that's how God loves because yeah. it's always free from whatever is appearing on the screen of consciousness. God is always beyond it. Doesn't mean it's not also intimately in love with what is, but it is also unaffected by what appears. It doesn't change. And if you know that about yourself, because you are God, then the aperture opens and God's automatic love comes through you. Wonderful. So you just, your only job is to be free. Yeah. Your only job is to know your freedom, to remember your freedom, to not indulge in the storyline too much. You can appreciate it. You can understand where people are at and also where you are at. If you are having an emotional reaction, you can have appreciation and love for that also in a relative sense, like a, a more human way. And you can accept that and you can love that. But the more you open that aperture, the less you'll be able to indulge in the storyline. You, you can no longer really believe in the seriousness of separation and you versus me. And I believe this and you believe that and whatever the conflict the nature of the conflict appeared to be. It is an illusion, right? And when we pop that bubble and we remember the preciousness and the mystery and the beauty and the, mm, the gift of existing right here, right now, in that freedom, love is automatic and unconditional mm -hmm. because you don't need anything from your friends. You're already free. What, how, what's a greater gift than ultimate freedom? Like what could they ever give you? What could any outcome ever give you? That's bigger than being beyond everything, the freedom of knowing that. Well, it's not always easy to maintain as the human drama plays itself out, but it is the way and it is possible. And the more we practice, the more proficient we become, the more constituted, the more stable we become in knowing that freedom, in recognizing that freedom. And therefore, the more automatically love flows all the time, no matter what happens. It doesn't mean we uh, don't always like everything, that we, that we always like everything. But it does mean that there's this valve open of appreciation, of gratitude, of love, because we're free. So beautiful, wonderful demonstration. Thank you.